So I'm starting this weekend's vlog a little early. Um, cheek's still a bit swollen. I wish it would go down and clear off. Anyway, it's Thursday night. Zara and I are out on an evening out tonight. Here she is. Here she is. Anyway, we're going to my friend Louise's uh, new flat. I'm very excited. It's taken a quite a while for everything to go through. Um, Unbelievable sometimes. She was a first time buyer, cash buyer. Would you call it cash? Yes, you do, cash buyer, no chain. And uh, the whole process, I did feel for it. Should have gone through a lot quicker than it did because it just sort of um, takes the uh, edge off it, doesn't it? Who's that pipping at me? I don't even know them. Silly man. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, it takes the edge off. I remember when I was buying my flat, uh, I bought a, a brand new one and it still took ages to go through. First time buyer, no chain, it's ridiculous. And then when we bought the house that we live in now, nine months it took us, nine months. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, Zara's just having a little sniff around. A quick look round while we cross the road. Uh, so what have I got planned for the weekend? I've got another nice busy one, one at home which I'm glad about after, uh, well we were at home last weekend but it was pretty busy. Um, so Friday, Alan's been working away this week, he's not back till late tomorrow, Friday night which is quite unusual. So it's been Zora and I entertaining ourselves for the week. Uh, been really busy at work. Um, so that's meant a few late evenings this week, so I'll be looking forward to a nice chill out at the weekend. We have got more golf, another bike ride, seems to be a bit um, same old, same old, but I love it, especially while these uh, the summer months that we've got and the light, warm days, fantastic for being out in the, um, in the sunshine and I love being outside at the moment, really enjoying it. So anyway, we're off to Louisa's now for Louise, sorry not Louisa, I have got a friend called Louisa as well, Louise, uh, for pizza and wine, got a little rug for Zara, because I don't want her dropping her smelly hairs all over Louise's new carpet. Come on. Uh, she has been washed for the occasion, washed her at the weekend, shampoo and set, so she smells quite fresh. Oh, we're meeting up with my friends on Sunday afternoon. We're off to New York soon for one of my friend's 30th birthdays. So, uh, when's that? About four or five weeks' time? Never been before. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So, we're meeting on Sunday just to go through some final plans as to what we want to do. Um, we've got a baseball match booked. Uh, I think we're going to the theatre some nice food places so i will definitely be vlogging that can't wait to go i've never been before really really excited uh, i've been saving my pennies so i can enjoy it and spend a bit of cash anyway we're almost at uh, louise's house now so i shall uh, just stop this part of the vlog now go on in let me go go on in Takes a leap back and then a leap forward. Go in there, Zara. Let me go. Go on in. So we've had a lovely day out, well not day out, a few uh, couple of hours at Buckheath Nursery and Garden Centre. And uh, we've made a few purchases. I've got these little rascals. These are like um, metal sort of animals. These were 9 99 each. Here's Alan about to run me over. Thank you. Oh, and then I've got the, um, I've wanted a cactus for ages. So I've got one of these and some cactus fruit, food, 3 95 And then we've got a few bits for the front garden. Got some stuff for Zara. Here he is. And a buzzer to get rid of the wasps and flies. I've wanted one of these for ages. Put some batteries in that and buzz them. And then these little, little plants. So these are going in the front garden. 
plants are now in situ, all the uh, soil that Alan bought, and then we've got a couple of these in our little planters. So they set the garden off. Well, it's just the front garden, which used to be a scorched patch of nasty grass when we first moved in. It's now quite a pretty little area. It's not a massive area because we've got a little drive there. But the bits that we've got, Alan's made, um, used a lot of sleepers. And we've now got an array of colour, which is really nice. Yuck, piggy's ear. Right, okay. Yucky yuck. Sit. Down. Good girl. There you go. Oh, she's off. Look at that tail wagging. Oh, she's not sure. Not sure. Mr. Mouse in situ, there he is. Cecil, near the ace up. Cow, just where Alan's digging out the uh, big roots. This is where a mouse jumped out at me the other day. I need to get out of the way here. It's deep, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Oh, let's get her out of the way. You don't want to get damaged, do you? <laughs> I think the fork's a bit knackered. Oh no! <laughs> Have you just done that? Yeah. Oops. It's very deep. Heavy. Not heavy. Strong. Let's see where the mouse jumped out on me the other day. Oh, what a busy day that's been. Very enjoyable though. So, um, what have I done today? Took Zara for a run with my friend Steph. We did about five and a bit miles. Absolutely glorious sunshine, really enjoyed it. And then Alan and I were gonna do a bit of golf, but we felt a bit shattered. So um, we said we were gonna have a really quiet day and we ended up going to the garden center. Um, got all the plants and bits and bobs. Had some lovely lunch. Had a really nice jacket potato with coronation chicken. It was delish. And then we've done a bit of gardening, put those new plants out, uh, come back. What have I done now? Bit, bit of twanky and a bit of cleaning. And then I've got the girls coming round any moment now um, to make plans for our New York trips. We're off to, uh, trip, not trips. We're off to New York in just over four weeks for I think five days, four nights for one of the girls' 30th birthday. So uh, we said we'd get together today just to go through some final plans. So we've got a baseball match already booked and paid for. Uh, what else? Oh, a, a meal in something Essex. I'll have to find out what that's called. And then we're going to talk today about going to a show and some other bits and bobs. So I'm really excited. So good morning and welcome to another part of the weekend vlogs. Um, these videos will sort of flip over a few different days because I'm just filming bits as and when I can really so uh, sorry if they don't really make sense but today we're off to Tiptree Alan and I for um bike ride to get a cream tea well I am anyway we got myself some new wheels literally not bar not a new bike but actually some new physical wheels on this bike um there's quite a lot in this garage as you can see this is our uh bikes and trainers and everything so i've had these new beauties um i shall add in the description below if anybody's interested what type of wheels they are um got them from a place called wiggle and got a really really good deal on them i was expecting to pay i don't know about 300 pounds and uh, they had a half price sale on them which included the inner tubes and tires so taking these puppies out on a spin to give them a little test so, drive recycling up Colum Lane here. This is uh, just about the only hill, or one or two hills, that are worth cycling up in Essex, which is flat as you like. So uh, the gradient doesn't really get super steep, only about 10% at the highest. We're at about, about 7% at the moment. Car coming the other way. She looked miserable, didn't she? 
and here we are just coming to the top. So the whole of the climb from the bottom is about just over a kilometre, close to, close to a mile maybe. But it's, a, it's a really nice, nice part of Chelmsford. When you go up, you have to come down. Woohoo! Years ago, Alan, in his wisdom, uh, said we could ride through this little um, ford, I think we call them. And uh, yeah, first time for me going through it. And of course, at the bottom, it wasn't deep, it was fine, but it's very, very slippery and slimy. And uh, yeah, you guessed it, I came off. My bike just went from underneath me, <whistles> slipped straight on my bum. And um, if you've ever worn cycling shorts, you'll know they've got those massive, great big pads underneath. These. It just soaked the water up. I was absolutely wet through. I couldn't even get up from laughing so much. Um, and Alan, I just left my bike, got out of the brook, uh, the ford, and walked off. So Alan had to get back in to pick my bike up. So we have arrived at the Tip Tree Tea Rooms and a new little addition here, look at this beauty, a little bus. You can't work out whether that actually moves or not, it looks like all the windows are blocked in, so whether you just sit on it and have your cream tea, don't know. Anyway, Tip Tree is very famous, well around the UK, for delicious jams and preserves, and this is where it's all made in the town of Tip Tree. So we come here quite often for... Um, a cream tea or some nice cake. We do lovely food here in this tea room. You can come in and buy a load of the nice goodies. Look at all this lot here. We do breakfast teas. The tomato ketchup is absolutely delicious. And then you've got all the chutneys and the different jams. And they've started doing now some liqueurs. I've tried the, not the raspberry, rhubarb I've tried. This one's really nice. And then you've got, of course, all the little jams and things. These glasses are very nice. The glassy side, what a lovely gift. I like those flutes, they're really nice. Lovely clutch. Some pops. It's the jams that they were very, very famous for, or are very famous for. And this has become quite a sought after jam, a little scarlet. Here we go, this is the product for which Tip Tree is best known, delicious dark crimson jam made from a tiny and rare, intense, sweet little scarlet strawberry. I have tried some of that and it's rather nice. I've got loads of these at home, all the different flavours. Always very busy. Uh, over there. And here we are in my yummy, yummy cream tea. Cup of tea. And I love this scone scone with raspberry jam. And there's the little argument. Do you put jam first or cream? Cream or jam? I'm a cream and jam person. And to enjoy these lovely and warm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Back safe and sound, uh, just over, just under three and a half hours later, and we've done 50 miles today. Very blustery in parts, but um, yeah, you can really tell it's going from summer to uh, autumn now. But it's lovely when you get out on your bike seeing all the different um, times of the year, you know, all the different colours around all the, on all the leaves and flowers and stuff. It, it's really pretty seeing all of that. So that's the uh, the bike ride over. I'm just going to go off and have a nice shower. So we've come to Pets at Home with Zara to get us some more food and to pick up some fish for our tropical tank. Oh, look at them little babies! <laughs> 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 Fictional. Zara's in pets at home. Going on. We've got Zara's food. This will last her quite a while. Now she's a bit older, we have to go for mature food. So it's mature plus seven. And then she's got a load of dental sticks. 
Now we're going to get some fish. We've got um, a tropical tank, so that is warm water. Whereas ones like this, uh, rather than cold or marine, so there are only certain types of fish that you can get. I absolutely love these. Like that. And the male fighting pipes. fish, but you can only have them on their own. That's why they're here on their own. The dead fish in there are all okay? eating it. Yes, they are. Those are. I've got two of a similar size. Hello. So the number one, there's no comp competition between each other, but then they should also be smaller than your your honeys. So the lady at Pets at Home, the loud assistant just walked off and left everybody just stood there and now they're telling us the shop shut but somebody's coming down to help she just walked off didn't tell us really where she was going um and that was it left us for 10 minutes but we're going to found some stuff and we're going to get some fish Sarah's not used to being around small mammals Quite good. Oh, she's trying to get in. Don't scare it. This is normally means she wants to play. I don't be playing with any rabbits around here. This one's up for adoption, little Mabel. Shortening its teeth. And she is getting our new fish out of the tank. Right, let's get Sorry in the back of the car. Go on in and you get. Good girl. And she is in the car. So Zara gets fed twice a day and we have her food in a cupboard. So we weigh it out every day. Just on here. There she is. She makes me laugh. Watch her head move from left to right, left to right, left to right while I do this. bit of a diet at the minute we just we usually give her 175 but she's only just about 160 at the moment because when we went to the vets she put a little bit of put on right so just under 200 today right let's take this out come on in sit wait and i put the food in the bowl here go on in good girl so she has that twice a day and then in the morning she gets a dental chew and in the evening she gets a frozen carrot just to help clean her teeth and here she comes now she's had a lunch a brekkie and she's gonna have a dental chew next oh and i might give her one of these today this is my friend got these as um, treats for her we've been on a three and a half mile walk this morning so i'm gonna give her one of these smelly fish skin things, dried skish, fish skins that stink. Okay, sit. Down. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Give him this fish a breath. Crunchy. 